Good evening, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? This is my Wednesday night uh, Facebook Live tutorial. If you're catching this on YouTube, thanks for checking it out. Um, I do these every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and I'm pretty excited about tonight's card, although um, you know, it's not something too, too fancy. It's not anything like extraordinary looking. It's a pretty simple card, which is kind of like my style. I like to do very simple cards with maybe a couple of details here and there. Um, but I usually try and keep them pretty simple and nothing too over the top. Um, that's just kind of my style. Hi, Karen. How are you tonight? Um, I don't know how many people are going to be joining us tonight because I don't know about where you are, Karen, or wherever anyone is, but it is absolutely gorgeous right now in the upstate New York, and it has been a really long winter. <laughs> so, um, like we just came in like a little while ago, We're just being outside, it feels so good to just have fresh air and have the windows open, and dare I say it was even kind of on the hot side today, but no one's complaining. <laughs> no complaining here. Um... So uh, tonight's card uses um, a set that caught my eye from the very beginning, um, and uh, I'm just a sucker for a good punny sentiment. I love, I just love, you know, play on words and that sort of thing. Um, so this little cute uh, light bulb here in the phrase, it comes from the Watts of Occasions a stamp set, and uh I like this one because you can get a number of um, occasions out of this. You can get Christmas, you can get kind of like con um, condolences or get well soon kind of cards, that sort of thing. You can get thank you cards, you can just get simple cards, or you can get kind of love cards, that sort of thing. Um, so I think uh, you can really get a lot out of this. I personally love this set. I've used it a lot already for a number of different occasions. Karen says, it's been beautiful all day. I think it got 90 here. Monday it was 40. <laughs> yep, sounds about uh, northeast. Monday morning, actually, when I went to drop the kids to school, it was like kind of snowing. It was like snowing, raining, kind of. It was a mix. Oh, hi, Christy. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. <laughs> I love it. Hi. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Okay, so let's just hop in right now. Um, before I do get started, I do want to mention that I have a couple things on my blog right now. Um, I do have the new annual catalogs um, product share is up, and um, it was one of today's blog posts, so definitely check that out. It's also on my uh, an option on the menu, and I also have um, my color let's say here, color revamp club that it's in the menu section, although it will be my blog post for one of my blog posts for tomorrow. So definitely be sure to check those out um, and see what's kind of going on, what's happening. Uh, my card today is starting off with a thick whisper white cardstock. Um, the thick whisper card, the thick Whisper White Cardstock um, is essential if you're using it as the base to your card. If you're using white just as like a um, accent and to add other images to your card, definitely go ahead and use just the plain Whisper White. But if you're looking to use it as like the base to your card, you're definitely going to want the thick Whisper White Cardstock. Christy says, Color Revamp Club. Ooh, I have to check that out. Yes, it's um, spread out over eight months, and it gets all 16 new ink pads, ink refills, a package of cardstock, uh, the Stampin' Write marker, and eight of the Stampin' Blends markers. Um, in your hands within eight months. Um, it's kind of spread out. You get two colors a month. So yes, definitely go check that out. Okay, so this is my Whisper White cardstock. This is at four and a quarter by 11, and then it's creased here in the middle at, creased, <laughs> um, scored at five and a half. Um, next I have a panel of, we'll start with the bigger one. This is basic black, and it's three and three quarters by five, and then an eighth smaller Whisper White, oops, and this is three and five eighths by seven and, excuse me, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. There we go. Um, and I'm going to be doing this background here. This is something I love to do. I almost have to like restrain myself because I literally could do this on every card. Um, today I just did a simple 
uh, light bulb background, but if you had flowers, oh my goodness, I just love to create my own backgrounds using different stamps. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do, and I re literally, that, um, the triple banner punch, um, um, baker's twine, those are like my go-tos, and I literally have to be like, don't do it every time, do different stuff. <laughs> So when creating a background, um, obviously a photopolymer stamp would be easier because you can look right through it and kind of see where you're placing them. Um, but it's very doable with uh, the clear mount as well. And what makes it nice about if you're doing it and then kind of putting stuff over it is if it's not perfectly aligned, like no one can tell, right? Like you can't tell if my light bulbs are perfectly spaced because there's other interesting things going on in my card and it's not just the background. Hi, mom. Long time no see. <laughs> my parents are over for dinner tonight. <laughs> um, so uh, I kind of like to start in the middle and then kind of make make my way out, sort of. Um, so I'm going to ink up my, my uh, just the regular light bulb first and make sure um, my memento ink has been getting a lots of love lately. Karen says, do you know if, oops, sorry, I hit the button, if we're going to be able to purchase the Stampin' Right markers for the new colors, not the ink colors? Do you know if we're going to be able to purchase the Stampin' Right Mark? Yes. They, okay, so Stampin' Up! has created a couple bundles that you can purchase. One, there's the bundle where you can, hold on, I'm second guessing myself. No, yes, 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 yes. Okay. So there's the bundle where you can buy all the new um, ink pads. So the, um, the 16 ink pads is one bundle. And uh, for that bundle, because it's a bundle, you're getting a 10% discount. And then likewise, there's a bundle for all the new color Stampin' Right markers. So not the all of them, all of them, just the 16 markers that as well comes, you can buy that in a chunk and that's um, sold as a bundle as well. So it's 10% off. Oh, find your sunglasses, yay, where were they? I hope that answers your question, Karen. It's a little confusing, but definitely Stampin' Up! does make it so that you can buy all the ink pads together and then all the Stampin', the Stampin' Right markers together as a bundle for just the new colors. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start kind of in the middle towards the top. Oh boy, there goes my credit card. Yeah, no kidding, Karen. Um, demonstrators were able to do a pre-order today. And oh my goodness, there was so much available for us to order. All the new colors, all the new stamps, um, the new paper, I think. It was, whew, I had to like sh talk about self-control. I had to show so much self-control. <laughs> okay, so next I went right. I don't know why this is going to hang off a little bit more than, I think I uh, measured it right. Thank you. Yes, it did. Okay, good. If you have any questions, let me know. I know it's hard um, not being able to see the actual catalog. Um, I know Amy ordered catalogs today and I ordered catalogs today. So my customers, um, I'm, a, I'm a guessing my um, catalogs will get here. What's today? Wednesday. Next Wednesday. I'm hoping to fill them all because I have some goodies I'm throwing in there. Um, fill them. Mail them. I'm hoping they go out no later than the following Monday in the mail. And I'm, I mean, Amy's pretty quick too. I know she'll get them out super quick for you guys. Anyways, feel free to ask any questions. If Oh, I have a little dot there. If you have any questions. See how a little space there? I'm like, oh, there's something on my stamp. And yep, there's like this little tiny. Come on. There we go. Did mom... Your dad is here. Hi, dad. Wait, you didn't answer my question. Where were your sunglasses? My mom couldn't find her sunglasses. And we're going to do that one. Now, the whole, the key to doing your own background is to not have it. Well, okay. I shouldn't say the key to it. What I like, my style, the way I like to do it is to have things like hanging off. You don't want everything to perfectly fit um, in your paper. You can. It would just give a different effect, I suppose. I shouldn't say the best way it's just a way remember where we went on Saturday remember where we I have no clue where we went on Saturday mom um, okay and yeah cute that's my oops where the top let's close that before I show you so 
There's our um, light bulbs. I couldn't think of what that word is. And we're gonna mat it on some basic black here. I have to admit the suspense is killing me. <laughs> what, with the new catalog, Karen? <laughs> It's really good. I'm really, I'm very, very pleased. My wish list is way too long. Um, <laughs> my wish list is way too long. <laughs> it's pretty bad. That's really cute. Oh, thanks, Karen. Okay, so I have a piece of DSP here. This is, comes from the 2D Fruity um, Designer Series Paper Pack. This is cut at three by five and a half. Um... So the idea behind this card is I kind of wanted a very, as you can tell, I wanted things just black and white. And then I wanted, um, including just the plain light bulbs. And then I wanted the one with the heart to kind of stand out. And so I put that one against, I made that one yellow. So basically everything is black and white except for the, the one accented uh, light bulb there that has the heart. <clears throat> yes. It's very exciting, Karen. Today, um, everybody was up, and we have a, um, like, Amy has a team Facebook page, and um, they had all, like, or ordered all of them, like, done their pre-order before I even, like, went on to check. I was like, whoa, I'm behind here. Everyone had already started ordering, but I was able to get my pre-order in, and it's already sent, so it should be here by next Wednesday as well. Lynn says, I agree with Karen. So excited to see the new catalog. I need some supplies, but we'll wait. Yes. It's very exciting. It's, I love, love, I can't say how much I love the new colors, the new color revamp. That's why I'm doing the color um, club because I myself want all the colors. <laughs> I want them all and as fast as possible. So um, I'm kind of doing it for selfish reasons, but um, it just, yeah. I will, yeah. It's just a great, great catalog. Okay, so to do my extra highlighted um, light bulb here, I'm just stamping it up in Memento ink again. Um, and that one's going to get stamped down. Oops. And I'm going to take my Stampin' Blends, which, by the way, there is a slew of new Stampin' Blends uh, markers in the new catalog, which is so, so exciting just to get new colors to be able to play with. Um, I'm really excited about that. And my color revamp does get eight of them in your hands. Oops, there we go. Um, eight of the Stampin' New um, Stampin' Blend markers. So to color this in, I'm just going to start with the darker Stampin' Blends marker. Um, and just kind of highlight where I'm going to want some shade. I don't want too much contrast, but I do want you know, a little bit. The thing with the Stampin' Blend markers is they don't give like a very drastic, um, whoops, um, difference in color. You know what I mean? For like highlighting, it's very subtle. It's, it's just to give, um, like some highlights and lowlights. And I think they're super forgiving. I'm not a person to sit down and like color too much. It's not, I don't know. I don't think it's my forte. I'm not very good at it. Um, so I think the Stampin' Blend markers are very forgiving, and I am so excited to get new ones in my hands and the new some of the new colors. How much do you love it? How much do I what the new catalog or new Stampin' Blends? How about it all? I love it all. Oh, I'm so excited. So there. So just add some highlights and lowlights. It's not super drastic, but you know, just to give kind of the illusion. I was in a club like that to get the big shot years ago. It was a great way to ease into it, not go broke all at once. Yes, exactly, Karen. That's the whole idea. Because honestly, um, you know, it's 16 new colors. And so that, you know, costs a little bit. If you were to get all the new everything, the cardstock, the ink, the refills, everything. So if I spread it out for you over the course of eight months, you know, you just commit to, um, a certain amount. Um, it's all on my blog. Um, it's about $50 a month and you get two new colors, uh, a month. And I like, um, I was like, do I add the Stampin' Write markers? Do I do the Stampin' Blend markers? And f finally I was just like, we're going to do both of them because I couldn't decide which one, uh, um, like customers were going to want more. 
Um, so it gets you all 16 Stampin' Write markers and eight Stampin' Blend markers. Why eight? Because not all the colors are coming, are available. Well, will be available, I should say. Okay, so I just fussy cut that guy out. And it's like, I know the highlighting is a bit, um, isn't good. The highlighting, you know, it's a subtle, but it's there. And if you wanted to go back and like, see, I can, I guess live, I can see the difference a little bit more. But if you wanted to um, make it even a more contrast, you could just go back. The more color you build on it, the darker and lighter shades you're going to get. I actually still have some of them still, I think I'm missing time. Yes, I have... I think four of the one, the only one I don't have is Poppy Parade of the ones that are returning. Um, but um, the new ink pad, the ink pads and the bundles and everything will be the new ink pads. So they have the non bubbling formula, which is great. I'm so excited about that because my ink pads always bubble in the summer. <laughs> Um, okay, so for this one, I thought, do you think I cut out a scalloped black circle? Do you think I should add that? Do you like it with the black scalloped or without? I thought the black scallop might help like pop the color a little bit more, but I wasn't sure. I cut it out in case you guys thought you might like it. How many new Stampin' Blends can you tell? Oh, Karen, off the top of my head. Well, there's the eight I'm doing in my club, and then I think there may be, I want to say like three, three or four more than that. So like, 11 or 12. When I get done, I'll look at the catalog and count them up and let you know. I'll post a, um, a comment under here because some of the new Stampin' Blends colors are in the new ink color. Like I know Pineapple Punch um, is a Stampin' Blends um, marker color. That's a tongue twist with the scallop. Okay. I kind of thought that might look good. I hadn't tested it, but... Um, before I start gluing things together, I do want to stamp the sentiment because it's easier to stamp it. And I didn't get it out ahead of time. What did I do? Love you, Watts. Um, it's easier to stamp <laughs> while it's not on the card. I have Poppy Parade ink pad. Oh, that's funny, Karen. That's the one I don't have. I have all the other ones. I have um, Blackberry Bliss and Mint, whatever, Macar I never say it right, Macaron. <laughs> Um, I have all the other ones. That's funny. Poppy Parade is the one I don't have. <laughs> okay. And then, so when I did this one, I put, this is, um, crushed curry piece of ribbon. And then I tied the black around it. But I think for this one, I just want to do it all black. What do you think? This is, um, solid black beakers. No, <laughs> solid basic black baker's twine. Whoo. I think I don't want to use the, I think I just want to leave it all black. Thoughts? So cute. Thanks, Christy. I think we're going to just go black and not use the crushed curry. It can be a little tricky because um, wrapping around um, a circle can be a little on the tricky side. So let's see if I can do it. I'm, it may not work. Let's put it on the scallop. I agree with Karen. I think I want the scallop. Ooh, what was that? And so first, I'm just going to wrap this around, get it where I want it. Actually, the scallop might actually even help hold the beaker's twine down. Like that. Yeah, I think I like that. Yes, all black, Karen says. Okay, good. We think alike. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't get my dimensionals out. Where are they? Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> there they are. No, is that the... Yeah, there they are. Whew! That was close. So because there's a, I did it on this one, but because now there's, I don't know, I'm going to put dimensionals because sometimes it's hard to glue down Baker's twine ribbon on the back because it's so, it's not flat. Come on, come on. Looks good. Oh, thanks, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So <clears throat> it's funny. I stamped that one light bulb and I always end up, um, covering it <laughs> and I think I'm going to do because this one's having a hard time staying down I'm going to do a dimensional on this one as well cute card oh hi Amy way late sorry no big deal I know this is such bad timing for you I'm already like anticipating what I'm going to do over the summer because um you know summertime we're out and about and 
playing outside until late. I'm starting to get the summer itch though. You know, like when the kids just want to be outside on their bikes and you have to call them in because they have homework to do. It's like, oh, you know, you just want to let them be outside and, um, you know, not have to come in. Good thing I can't actually talk to you. We'd be talking nonstop. <laughs> That's funny. Oops. Why is that twisted? Okay. So then I'm just tying in the beaker's twine that I wrapped around a bow, which... Okay, so here's the thing. I, I was like, do I do a bow? Don't I do a bow? Because it kind of covers the sentiment. I don't know. When in doubt, do a bow. <laughs> summer's a little more relaxed schedule here, too. Yeah, we we take our summers really lazy around here. I mean, I still work, um, so I have to, you know, work that around my schedule and stuff. But, you know, I don't put the kids in camps. We I call them, I say that they do mommy camp. <laughs> they get stuck with me. And we do fun things. Okay, I'm just trimming my tails here, except while well, one is longer than the other. There we go. And it kind of covers, I don't know, it kind of covers the sentiment. When I took a picture for my blog, I just kind of moved moved the ribbon a little bit. There you go. I don't know. I don't mind it covering a little bit. I think it's cute. And I actually like, I like this one a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, so that's uh, today's uh, tutorial. If you have any questions about any of the product I used, um, oh, thanks, Dad. My dad says, very nice. Thanks. Um, if you have any questions about any of the product you use or any of the techniques or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Um, I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Um, be sure to swing over to my blog. Definitely check out in the menu section at the top. You'll see the option for the annual catalog product share as well as the color revamp club. Um, all the details are there. If you have any questions, it's a lot of information to take in. Um, I'd be happy to answer them. So definitely get a hold of me. And in the meantime, I will see you all next uh, Wednesday. Thank you for checking out this video, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.